These are the topics that I covered last week. I show you how one simple code in high level language will be translated into assembly and machine code. As you can see some of the quotes from the high level language translated into several lines in assembly. But each assembly in instruction will be converted into one machine code. There are four components in the basic type of instruction in assembly. The first one is the of the operation at multiply and or compare done for other type of daily sections. Then we have several operands for arithmetical and logical instruction. We have to be a plant. The first one is the destination one and the second and third one or the other times of the instruction. For example, when we want to add two operands, the operators should be mentioned as the source number. 1 and source number 2 and the result in the spot in the first operand or the destination. As I mentioned, there are different components for a simple instruction in assembly. Maybe we have an optional labor. Labor is an arbitrary name that we gave to the one line of instruction in order to refer to this point. And it should be end with column. Then the up code or operation. Then we have 1, 2, or 3 depends on the type of instruction. In mixed assembly we don't have any zero operand instruction. The parents can be registered names like dollar signs, zero dollars, and 1.31 or their Albanian name five dollars a zero dollars zero dollars. 12. The names that are given to the general purpose registers in order to refer them easily in your program or it can be immediate value or Ottawa's label or the labels that you assign to some parts of your code. And the last part of the inner circle is an arbitrary part or comment that you can write some text string. In order to explain the meaning of that part of your course. Of course, this part of the instruction will be ignored by the assembler and it can be only used by the humans. Then I explain the arithmetic operators and show you how one complex statement in high-level language converted into several instructions in MIPS. And then you talk about the different data representation. It's bytes. 16 beats or 5 for 32 beats or a war 64 beats. You mentioned the load store architecture, so you cannot use memory location as one of the operand. In your instruction, you should first load the data from the memory into one register and then use that registering your code and finally you store back the result into the memory. But in some of the other processor, it is possible to use one of the operands, as the memory can be one variable in memory and use that variable. For example, in 886 you can add the accumulator with the number at x comma number. So the value of the accumulator register will be up with the value of the variable number and the result will be a sorting accumulator. But if you cannot do it, you can't use it first to load the number into one variable registered actually. And then add that register with the other ones. And after that, if you want to store it in another location, you can use the store for this other convention name for the registers. Well, as I mentioned in the program, you cannot use this variable name in the function. You should first load them in some registers so that the business of the register, some 17c is inside the SA18. So this instruction would be converted into this form for his complex statement in the conversion to these three sections. Instruction The third option is immediate data and immediate it can be as extreme with value and design value. So in order to subtract a value from a register, you can use a negative number. So for example, if I want to increment the contents of the variable pay first, assume that the A is inside one register. Letter 1, for example. Then this increment statement will be converted to this format at immediate the dollar sign 1 is the value of the A will be added 1 and the result is 30 again. Dollar sign 1. 
So these are the simple arithmetic instructions that we covered last week. Add, subtract, add, immediate, add on sign, subtract, sign, and add immediate on side. As you know, we have two types of data assigned data and on site data in the on site data. The value will be between 0 to 2 power mn, which mn is the number of bits. For example, if you have 16 bits, for example, 2 power 16 is 65,536. Minus 165,535. So an unsigned number, 16 unsigned number will be between 0 to 65,535, 4 to power, 16 minus 1. But for this instruction, the value that we mentioned here is because there are assigned value in 16 pieces, the value will be 0 to power 16 minus 1. So it will be between 265,535. For unsigned number or the sign number is likely to be between minus 2 over. You see people who are their main clients, or B minus. So a 16 this number can be considered as an unsigned number in this range or sign number in this range. Let me write the number in hexadecimal. F, 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 or 16 1 in binary. What is the interpretation of this number? What is this number? What is the meaning of this number? What is the equivalent of this number in decimal? It depends on the way that we want to interpret this number. We can interpret it as a signed number or unsigned number. If I consider it that unsigned number. So this number is the maximum value that I can have in 16. 1525 or 260 minus 1. But in another way, this is a negative number because the first digit or the sign it is 1, as we know, for the negative number in binary, the sign this will be 1. So this is a negative number. What is the value of this number in in science value? You should compute the 2 complement or the 2 complement or on the right side if you see any zero. Don't change it. I don't have any zero in this segment. The first one should be remain. So this one will remain. The remaining ones will become element 2 zero and the zero. Zero. So this number is minus 1. So f, f, f. F in the hexadecimal can be interpreted as 65,535 or minus 1. So which one should be used by the CPU? Now how the CPU can understand what is the meaning of this 16-bit number? 2 minute minus 106 to 5,535. How the CPU can distinguish between these two numbers? Both of them are correct. It depends on the type of the instruction. If you use at u at unsigned, it means that this number is 65,535. If you use at i means that it is a sign number, so it is minus 1. So you want to decrement one unit from your variable or your register. I have a 16-bit value and there are two different interpretation of this number. It can be considered as minus 1 or 65,535. Both of them are correct. So we should find a way to separate these two different meanings from this data for this purpose. There are two different type of instructions in this one. The data will be considered assigned value, so that number would be minus 1. For this instruction, the same data are considered as the same value. So it will be cover 16 minus 1. So this is the reason that we have different type of instructions for unsigned, unsigned value add. Images for sign and add you or unsigned data. Last week I explained the load ward and store bot instructions. As you can see for the load board, the second parameter has two parts the base register and the offset. 
or constant offset is constant offset will be at with the content of the base register and that value will be used. As we can see here, as the authors who refer to the memory and load that memory location or to compare that location for a scoreboard in a structure. So the base register contains a number. That number will be at with the immediate value that we have here in the offset card, and then the result will be used as the memory address. Then I'll explain one example about the arrays. For example, we mentioned how we can convert the statement from C language into the MIPS. The value of that variable will be equal to the content of variable B plus C index 9. As you know, arrays will be stored in secretive remote locations and the start of the rest of the array will be stored in the variable name. And then for every index the compiler find the authors of that. And 3 by using the base of this plus index number multiplied by the size of the elements or a index. I finally find the address of that entry by this formula base of the array will be at. I multiply by size of the element of the array. This is the way that compiler is C or other high level language point out of one element in the array. In the meet you have to perform this operation by your code. So since I know that every element in my array takes in one word or four by C index, nine will be computed. The start does have the C plus nine times four or thirty six. As you can see. I assume that the start of of the array C is inside the zone 19 register B is inside A, P and A is inside the sum 17 so in first I have to read the contents. I've seen the X9 by load ward 9 times 4 is 36 and this is the base. Base will be at 36. So this is the authors of C index 9 entry with this element and it's called in register any register. That are 8 then this 1 and the B should be add together and the result should be A in dollars. 17 or A. So this is 4 and 3 with the fixed index. What about index 1? How can I find this index 2 address? I cannot mention I times for here. 